Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Robin's Room Readings. Hey guys. So I've been doing some ministry work with people today. Other people ministering to me too. It's a two-way street, right? Thank you for being here. It's just a quickie. I just wanted to bring this quick message to you and let you know that you're on the right path. There's something that you need to have confirmation of and I'm going to bring it to you today. Just a real quick, thank you for being here. It's for a general message for whoever this relates to. Thank you for your presence. See, a magician came up right away. This could be uh, Aries, Virgo, Gemini, Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius. Somebody here has the ability to transmute their situation, to grow past it, to see everything very clearly, to use their skills to manifest, to go where they're supposed to be going. That's what I see. And making things happen. You see the ring around his head? It's official appointment of the ability to work with the sacral the sacred and the cosmic to get what you need, completely aware. The message about your love life is that you're learning about forgiveness. You realize that this is the magic, is to learn to forgive so that you can manifest new energy. He's number one, brand new energy. What you've been dealing with is just going round and round, trying to get into the center of the, um, the heart space where you're really happy, you know, this is where my goal is. This is where I'm going. But geez whiz, all the things that get in the way. Yeah. And then we have the uh, Ascended Master that's guiding you through this process and learning about your magic and forgiveness is that it's done by the, the energy of peace. It's a choice that you make. We have free will. Free will dictates an awful lot in your life. What? Are you choosing? Whoops. Turn that back over. I don't know why I was prompted to turn that around. Probably because of the struggle. So we have an um, we have a keeper of the light watch watching over you to help you as well. And this came out a couple of times this morning, so I'm bringing it out to you because Paul the Venetian is um, experiencing grace. It's just the pink. Look at the coloring on this card. All the colors of what you would experience in grace. The the green jacket represents his heart, what he believes, what he how he loves, and <clears throat> the fact that he's healing his heart. The rose is that he's learning about forgiveness. He teaches about forgiveness. Grace is a divine gift from God. I heard that it's um, so peaceful. And then the Old Testament, New Testament says, seek peace and pursue it. Good advice. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. So don't hold back. As long as you're walking in a place where you want to get to the center of, of your, your experience, which it seems to be going round and round, you will be experiencing great grace. They told me this is what's happening. <clears throat> Seek and ye shall find. Heaven's door. The angels are they're making it very clear where your pathway is. So please follow your higher divine path, wherever that leads. It seems mysterious, but it's an etheric. And indeed it is, because you are mysterious and etheric. Don't be so transparent. Let your God, let this happen. Number two is the path that you choose, and seven is the divinity thereof. Your free will will take you, and grace will help you to experience victory. This is what they gave me for you. I want you to experience victory. You deserve it. That's the number 28. This is for a masculine specific, too. I felt that. I felt that through this, and um, your uh, your outcome for doing the right thing is you're going to be happy, and the people around you will be happy, and I think you deserve that. You need to do the work, of course. They're saying you've 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 saw you pulled back, Virgo, and you've gotten your wisdom now. You know what to do. You may be dealing with a Scorpio, a, a, a Leo as well which is uh, the power of strength. The strength is in forgiveness and that you it strengthens you from the inside out. You learn that in your wisdom state and you fill your heart with joy. You fill your heart with receptivity because you've forgiven yourself and you've forgiven others for things they could not control. Even the Christ did that when they killed him. He said, forgive them. They know not what they do. So it's lack of insight. You have insight. You're being guided by a lot of prophets now. May you be blessed in your ministry. Bring it forth. Do not let anything hinder you. You have a lot of people to nourish with your spiritual work. We love you. Thank you for being here.
Bye.